Ons kan doen is, is vir hom bid, dit gaan nie help om, om negatief te wees nie. Ek weet, al wil ek positief blij. Maar gister aan het verdeling nie van sy laaste wens, hy wil vrede maak. Hi guys, welcome to the official channel of GW Moses. Tonight we are going to discuss the technical behind the movie Harte wat vergewe. Because everyone has been asking how did the technical go, what did I do, what equipment I, I used. So I'm just going to elaborate a, a little bit on that tonight. So the movie's name was um, It Ends Still, <laughs> I believe. It's Harte wat vergewe and I will just be discussing with you guys the, 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 the equipment the t- behind the scene technical so the the actual sound recording device i used is very cheap it i think it sells for about 1800 rand the zoom h1 recorder i'll drop the link below so you can check out the link and just buy the stuff if you need it we use the zoom h1 like i said it's very vibrant uh it's it's crisp it's sound it's it has a dual two-way uh, condenser microphone on top of it to, to record dialogue or whatever you want to record you can re- even record ambient sounds with it it sounds so nice I took the audio that we recorded I took it over to Cubase my software I added all the audio parts and what I did was I, 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 I compressed the audio and I just spiced it up a little bit in terms of, of, of its EQ and compression just to get that, you know, that, that nice sound that you want to hear, that thick voice, that crisp voice, you know. So that's what I did and I'll, I'll show you footage or I'll show you screenshots on how I, I linked that audio. I put it in the software where I edit my video clips, where I do post-production. It's actually, it's easy. What I did, my method was I I would normally count down three, two, one, and then I give a hard clap. The clap basically gives me an indication. It gives a spike on the on the wave spectrum, and it shows exactly where I should link up the two cameras' visual and obviously the sound. So that's where I link them in in, this, in the different tracks, and I just adjust until the time is in sync. Because you uh, trust me, you don't want the lips to be speaking and then the audio to come afterwards. It just doesn't sound right. I'll repeat that. It doesn't sound right at all. Yes. So, the next thing was basically the cameras I used. That's that's a good question which everyone is asking. Well, I used my first camera which I bought. Um, I think it was in 2014, I think, which was the, the, the entry level DSLR camera. It was the EOS uh, 1100D Canon. And I think I did a good job with it. For an entry level camera, I think it's good. It's not bad at all. With that 12 megapixel camera, you you can do a lot. I'll show you some of the footage that I shot uh, throughout the process of the movie. And you'll, you'll see the actual raw material, it looks good. The next thing was the lights. The lighting, lighting system I used was normal photo lights. I'll show them as well. It's the the white bulbs i think it's 100 watts or 150 watts i'll just make sure about that but it's in that range it's it's close to that range with the white uh, transparent umbrellas to just soften the light or if i'm shooting outside i would normally be using the natural light outside and i would just reflect the view i would just reflect the the sunlight with a reflector onto the 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 main focus onto the person or or whatever scene i'm doing i just reflect the normal light and it gives you a beautiful light without overexposing that iso of yours so what i did most of the scenes i had to shoot them alone which means i had to use a mic stand to mount the zoom h1 recorder in order for me to you to handle the cameras while shooting 
and controlling the sound as well. So then I just hook up my, my Zoom H mic to get to capture the audio and I would just be behind the, the video camera to, to get all the footage that I need. That was quite easy actually because I knew exactly where the, where the starting points and the ending points was. Now you will see there's a few scenes that, that I will be playing off while I'm doing this B-roll where I actually hide the, the Zoom H1 where you can't see it really but then it picks up that audio so nicely of, of the people, the dialogue and, and I just hide it somewhere where you can't see it and then I get perfect results. I'll show you in a clip where I put that mic if I don't have a, a boom stand or I don't want to link or, or, or mount it on anything then I also it also helps when you put it on, on something soft to absorb that shock and it gives you a nice crisp audio. Car passing by. Now I have to stop because I'm gonna record that guy and the dogs that's barking all over. Okay, back to the point. Back to the point. Focus. Let's focus. Alright. In terms of studio production, what I did with the audio, I, I, would, I would normally edit everything, all my audio parts in Cubase. And then I will set my levels accordingly and I will set my dialogue speech and do my voiceovers, everything in Cubase. And I literally used the, my old small M Audio monitors, which I will show also in, in some footage, B roll footage. But I, I would normally, if, if I edit late at night, I would just pop on my headphones, you know, like this. Just like that. And then I would I would link everything and when, as soon as I'm happy with my sound I would link them with my visuals cool now that's covered the last thing was the actual designs I used now there's this lady Mari Grobler she's in Durban she's an excellent excellent I repeat myself she's an excellent graphic designer she did all, she did all the, the designs for us Please make use of her. I'll also drop down her numbers and her email address and everything. You have to work with her. You need to work with her. She's the best. She's also the designer who worked on my albums, my CDs, music albums, and I, I personally rate her 9 out of 10. She's good. She's excellent. So that's a wrap up. I think I covered a lot. I covered most of the stuff I had to cover. And if there's any more questions regarding this project, anything you'd like to know please don't hesitate to contact me and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you guys for watching cheers Vader, vader, vergewe hulle!